Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I will be doing an unboxing for Blood Bolt, the game of fantasy football Greenfield Grasshoppers Hobbit Blood Bolt team unboxing plus I'll be taking a look at some of the team cards that come with it Ok guys, so let's start off with getting my trusty box cutter out and opening up the box Oh crap Ah, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting these boxes are oh, a little bit flimsy and I probably could have opened that up quite a little bit more easier than I just tried. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the front. I have to say, whoever the Games Workshop gets to actually do the painting for their models is really, really good. They are always, always really good. Let's start here. Yeah, so um, you get 12 models in the set. Quick look at the back. Looks like you get two catchers, four, di uh, yeah, four different poses for the halfling hopefuls, and two halfling helflets. Not sure who the hell they are, but hey ho. I haven't played as a halfling team in this yet, and I haven't had a proper look at their. Oh, they've got a little plastic bit on the inside. Let's open this up. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's a sort little of bit there. Okay, so is there anything else? Yes, there is. I thought there might be some transfers. Let's have a quick look here. So you've got a few uh, transfers. I do like this. Some of it, look, you know, practically all of it's food. With some numbers, knives and forks. <laughs> Heffy. Okay. So we're about to find out what some of this it does. It tells you what, you know, what sets all to do. Open up. And there is your... Okay, so the Hefe just looks like it's some, maybe, linesman? No, it doesn't even look like it's a linesman. They're more expensive than, oh, they've got a bit more armour. Okay, so instead of having six, they've got an uh, armour of seven. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so now let's open this up. Now this is different from the others. I was expecting a large sprue. There's no large sprue here, so this is going to be a lot of... Smaller sprues, probably better, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm already sold on the uh, pasty and the hot dog um, balls. Uh, I also kind of like their little stands there, you know, with the, hand, um, with the uh, sausage that's got lovely steam coming off it, the blood bolt coins, let's turn it over to the other side and let's have a look what they've got on them. A knife and fork, again the Cornish pasties. And a what looks like a hot dog, it, I think is really cool. So that's one of the sprues. Let's pick up this one. This could be the exact same as the others. Okay, so there's a few little bits here. Some heads. Some kind of cool looking heads. A pot. Let me lift this just a little. Some nice little arms. Do look cool, that looks like a little rabbit. About the throat, let's turn that around. Yeah, that looks like a little rabbit about the throat. Uh, some very large feet, obviously hobbits do have some very large feet. Let's turn that that way, that one looks like it's, his face has been smashed up. Yeah, it looks like he, that don't look in a too good way. It's kind of cool. Again, it looks like it's easier to build. When they're like that. I think this one is exactly the same as the one we just saw a second ago. Yep, so you get a second sprue of the exact same same bit. Again, it's very different from like the last blood bolt sprues. Is this the same? No, this one looks like it's different. So you've got the pot helmet, that's kind of cool. You've got a colander helmet, uh, another sort of largey pot helmet. Another one looks like it could be worth putting a kettle on this. Yep, it's a kettle or a teaco or a teapot. Oh, wow, this do I, I do like the models. You know, I, I don't think there's many bad models going to workshops done. I'm not overly keen on the Beast of Nurgle, if I'm being honest. For someone who actually likes the demon stuff. So it's two, again, another two sprues of for the hobbits. Let's just put this this way this time, I don't think I did that last time on the bodies. 
So there's a few little bits here. So yeah, well that's, well that's the actual team. So let's have, let's have a quick look at the Blood Bolt cards. Let's put these quickly away. So I'm only going to show some guys, I'm not going to show the lot. Um, I like trying to keep, you know, not, get, not trying to get myself into trouble. So there's the team cards. And I'll get my, let's try and open this up. Okay, so there's that one there, which looks how to use these cards. Match report, and then you've got general golden earth star players. Let's have a, let's see how many star players, or oh, golden era star player. Who's that? Oh, Captain. Okay, didn't see that one before. Let's put that there. So you got all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten star players. One that says a golden era. I'll have to look from other packs to see if I see that. So. Just gonna do that for a second. Let's turn one around and uh, not have a full look at it, but just have a little look. So we've got Willow a Rose, uh, Rose Bark. Uh, not that expensive. In fact, it looks like it's a dryad more than it is. Uh, yeah, it is a dryad. Okay, so and it can be used by the Amazons, Hobbits, and Wood Elves. Oh, fair enough. Let's take this away. So I'm just going to look here. So you've got that captain I turned around a second ago. It was a half lean. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six half lean star players. One human, one tree man, and a dryad. But this tree man can only be used by the wood elves. Oh, fair enough. A uh, couple of the half lean's can be used by human teams, by looks of, or humans and sorry, and ogres. Not all of them though. Um, that's kind of interesting. And some of them have secret weapons, one of them wears stilts. Again, I, can't, I don't want to go too much there, guys. So here are it feet, there are three. So, um, oh no, not, let's put you there. Right, I'm going to go this one. Turn you around. Catch up. I thought these guys were supposed to be slow. Ah, but they're, they are great at mustering when the ra aroused. Motivated when aroused, at the start of a of any dive before the kickoff, d6 players of your choice that are not in an opposing player's tackle zone may move up to six squares, or up to their ma characteristic if there is less than six. This move uh, this move may not be taken may not take these players into a, into the opposing half. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So you basically can move your own players around. Uh, so uh, too many cooks was the other one, and crumbles under pressure. Okay. You also have some special play cards. Where is one, two, three? Okay. Then there's player team cards by the looks of it. Okay, so I'm going to pick the middle one this time. A gang of two halflings. Oh, that's kind of funny. What are, you, what are they doing now? I don't know. I think they've forgotten that there's the rest of the match still to go. Play this at the start of a dive in which they are receiving before the kickoff. Rather than your opponent roll the dice to determine the kickoff event, you may choose to play this card in which... In which case, the kickoff event will be automatically be a riot, as if, as if it had three had been rolled. Ooh, not sure I like that one very much. Okay, so then you got the player cards. Now I'm assuming there's more cards than just the player cards here. There's quite, uh, there's quite a few. I'm assuming they're blank cards. Yep, there are a load of blank cards that can you can use. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. It's 
probably 24 if I'm being honest. I just probably didn't count it properly. Okay guys, well that's the uh, unboxing of the Blood Bolt Halfling team and their sports cards. Okay guys, so if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Has anyone actually played as the Halflings? I never have, if I'm being honest. I've never been overly wanting to either, if I'm, again, being honest. Uh, I've thought about playing as Goblins, but never as Halflings. Has anyone had any success as Halflings? Has anyone, does anyone really enjoy playing as the Halflings? Um, I got them because it completes my team, so if I've got a friend who comes over, I might play as the Halflings if they've never played Blood Bolt before, and I'll play as the Halflings just to give them a chance. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, remember, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the team. Have you played against them? Do you enjoy playing against them? Have you used them in any tournaments? That would be interesting to know if anyone actually went to that level. Alright, guys. Anyway, see you later. Bye.